What I'm going to say is so simple, but it's something that we forget so often, including myself. And it is this, you can achieve anything you want to achieve, anything that you set your mind and heart to achieve, if you just do it step by step. But the thing is, why do we, why are we so scared of taking, you know, doing something? We're scared of doing something because we are looking at the whole project or we're looking at this huge chunk of the project and we scare ourselves because we can't see how we can get from here to there, okay, without a lot of danger, without a lot of risk, without, you know, making mistakes or making risks. But if we realize that any project or any next step can be broken down into very, very small steps, baby steps, right? Small continuous improvement, Kaizen. If we can just do that, we can literally do anything. So here's an example. Uh, there's a guy named Naveen Jain, who is not a rocket scientist, but he wanted to go to the moon. And so he step-by-step step just started to learn <laughs> A little bit more and a little bit more about rocket science. He started to learn what was needed. He didn't become a rocket scientist, but he just learned just enough to know what kinds of people he needed. And then he did gradually found people to make connections, to get to the right technicians, to get to the right financiers. And now he has a company that within the next few years, they're, they're close to going to the moon. <laughs> Talk about something that is a huge intimidating project going to the moon is like a, you know, it's a great example. There's a, there's a phrase called moonshot. Moonshot is shooting for the moon. Like literally going to the moon is, you know, is the moonshot. So what is your moonshot? What project is so, is so inspiring to you? It's something that you said, you know, if I could, if I could do this, maybe, maybe it's simply your authentic business. If you could create an authentic business that supported you financially very well, where you are doing things that you feel so meaningfully con contributing to other people, you know, that's a great vision. And the truth is you can absolutely get there if you take it step by step. So let me share with you the five steps to use this very simple system, okay? Step one is to brainstorm and write down. This is the key. It's so important to write it down because if you don't write down what the next doable steps are, your mind immediately goes to the, 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 the entirety of the vision, you know, the whole project, or, or it goes to a, some, some obstacle that you can immediately think of because that's how the human brain works. We look for obstacles and dangers and risks faster and more easily than we look for, you know, what is, what is good and what is positive. So you've got to write down what are the next doable steps. And speaking of writing, writing it down, of course, I wrote down these steps. So I'm going to just uh, look at my notes here. Um, and that's one of the things that I've trained myself to do that I really recommend uh, more people do is write things down more than you try to remember things. I, I have a daily checklist, two daily checklists that I look at every single day, how to start my day and how to end my day. I look at those checklists every single day and I've not done it for years. So I've literally look, looked at those lists thousands of times and I still look at it every day because I don't want to have to memorize it. Now I do make some tweaks every couple of months, I'll make some tweaks to the checklists, but I use my brain for creativity. I use my brain for intuition, for pattern recognition, for relationship. I don't use my brain to remember things. Everything is written down for me. So, all right, what do you want to achieve? Write down, okay, the specific steps needed to get there. Actually, step zero, you know, even before step one is to write down what is the vision you want to achieve. Okay, write that right at the top. And then underneath that is what is what are the steps you know that are needed to get there? Just whatever you know. It doesn't have to be in order and it doesn't have to be the perfect right step. Okay, all we're doing is brainstorming right now and just writing down what you know 
if I want to get to the moon, I need to figure out how to build a rocket. I need to get the financing for the rocket. I need to figure out where the launch pad is going to be. I mean, literally, you write down what you know. I mean, I know nothing about going to the moon, but that's an example. Okay, find the launch pad, find how to build a rocket, find the, the people to finance this, you know, for example, three steps. Okay, three steps. Just write down what you know for now, step one. Step two is based on what you know, reorder the steps. Okay, reorder the steps. All right. Uh, and actually, it's funny, I, I'm, I'm, I'm making changes as I, as I realize this. The second step actually is to write, to look, at, look, at, look at the steps that you've written down. And is there anything that's too large of a, of a step for you? So for example, build a rocket is, is too large of a step for me. I don't know how to do that. So maybe my, my next step to build a rocket is to Google how to build a rocket. That's, I, can do, I can Google something. Okay, I don't have to scare myself with, oh my God, how am I gonna build a rocket? I'm just gonna Google. I can Google how to build a rocket. That's, that's doable, right? So, and then maybe after Googling how to build a rocket is, um, uh, you know, well, I don't know what's after that, but that's the first step because, and, and that's really important. As you take each step, more will be revealed to you. More will be revealed to you, okay? So step one, Step zero, write down what the vision is. Step one is to write down whatever steps you already know. Step two is to write down the smaller steps for any step that, that scares you, okay? For any step that scares you, write down what the smaller steps are, okay? And then step three is to reorder, to look at all the steps you have now and to put things in order. Okay, well, the launch pad, probably not gonna be the first thing. First thing might be to find some people who will finance the project, okay? So Google how to crowdfund a rocket launch, okay? Or something like that, right? So maybe that's, that's number one. And after I do that, then I do this, and then I do that, and you write it down, you reorder it now, okay? Step three is to reorder. Step four, and by the way, if you don't know how to figure out what the smaller step is, you can always Google, you can always Google it. You can always go to a supportive Facebook group and ask, hey, I'm looking to do this step what would you suggest are smaller steps there? And there are lots of Facebook groups that will be helpful to you, okay? Another idea is to, is to just give it a rest. If you've been brainstorming a while, you might just need to rest, go do something else. Because when you go do something else, your brain, having already focused on it for a while, will be working on it subconsciously while you are doing something else, especially when you move your body, your brain moves as well. So go rest, go do something else, okay? Your subconscious will be working on it. So when you come back, you'll have a fresh energy, fresh perspective on how to brainstorm the next steps. Or you could use both of these. You could, you could basically um, Google something first and then post in a Facebook group, you know, hey, how do I do something? And then go rest and then come back and check what the Facebook thread is. And, you know, so you can kind of combine these things to figure out what the next doable steps are. And finally, finally, as you take each... Um, as you take each step forward, okay? As you take each step forward, embody what your higher values are, what your higher truth is. Because it's because everything that we do is really for our personal development. It's really for our spiritual growth. It, that's my opinion. Maybe, you know, I, or you could say it in a secular way. Everything you do builds your character. So instead of doing something with, with a, a, a fixation or an obsession about the result, okay, this is the thing, instead of obsessing about the result, bring your higher value to the, the step you're about to take. So I'll share with you a couple of mantras that help me do this. So I might say to myself, step by joyful step, step by gentle step, step by loving step. And as I do everything every day, Okay, I bring that kind of love, joy, and gentleness to, to the next action. And as I, as I do this, what happens is it makes my work more sustainable, personally fulfilling and sustainable, whereas some people are working themselves to the ground and they become burned out or, you know, I, I, I don't want that for you. I want you to enjoy, to enjoy 
every step you take along the way, because then you're much more likely to keep taking the steps needed to finally get there. You've got to learn to enjoy work, whatever the work is, whether it's bookkeeping, whether it's taxes. I don't like any of either of those things, but I learned to bring breath. I learned to bring joy to everything, the things I don't like to do. Okay. Um, marketing is not necessarily the most fun thing to do in the world. Well, I've tried to make it fun, but, um, but I bring joy to it, you know, instead of fear, instead of, oh my God, will this work? No, just step by step, joyful, gentle, loving step. All we're doing this is for spiritual growth anyway. <laughs> All we're doing this is for character development anyway. We're just using the steps as a stage for our character growth or, you know, spiritual growth. And so, um, and so you, you'll, you'll grow personally as you take the steps and, by doing this, you're probably going to get to where you want to go. So I hope this is helpful. Remember, anything you want to do, you can get there step by step. Start by writing it down. Don't keep it in your head because in your head, you're going to think about the obstacles. You're going to think about the thing that's too big for you. If you write it down, you can see, oh, I can do this. You write down the steps until the steps are so small. You could talk, well, that's easy. I could totally do that. And then you take a gentle step forward. Okay. So I hope this helps and um, I look forward to seeing what that does for you. Uh, I welcome you to comment below. And while I'm waiting for you to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and look to see if there are any comments in, uh, in the Facebook Live video that I'm making right now. Great, and thank you so much, Shweta, Francis and, and Captain for your comments there. Um, yeah, it, it, you know, it's like most people don't like working, you know, and it's, and it's, it's, it's natural, it's normal in this world, unfortunately, to not like working, right? By work, I mean, it's particularly things that you don't naturally enjoy just by itself. But I think the secret of, I think the biggest secret I could leave you with if I were to die right in this, you know, the next hour, if I could, if I were to die the next hour, the very, the, the biggest secret I could leave you with about my life and work is I've learned to enjoy everything that I do, everything that I do, no matter if it's writing a difficult sales page, no matter if it's contacting somebody, you know, I, I feel scared to contact them, no matter if it's doing technical work that I'm not really cut out for, but I have to do by myself, no matter if it's doing hack taxes that are the most, you know, nobody loves doing, you know, doesn't matter. We can bring breath and joy to every single action. And if you learn that secret, you can do anything in life and, and enjoy it along the way. And my God, that's really what we're all, what we're all hoping for, isn't it? So um, I'm not able to see all the comments right here, but I think, uh, I think Heather and Sandy may have commented as well. Um, but uh, yeah, Sandy and Heather, so thank you all. Okay, I'll read your comments later. Oh, um, actually Sandy's here, it says, do you have any suggestions for moving beyond the block of not knowing what you, what to call what you're doing? Oh my God, so that's a, that's a whole other topic. It's, um, it's, it's yes, uh, I do have a suggestion for you. I recently made a video about this with my friend, Tad Hargrave. Uh, he is a specialist at helping people to clarify their niche. So you can go to my YouTube channel and search, or just go to YouTube and search Tad Hargrave. Well, he has a bunch of videos about this kind of thing himself. So Tad, T-A-D, Hargrave, H-A-R-G-R-A-V-E. His website is marketingforhippies.com. And recently I did a 90 minute call with him uh, for some of my clients on helping them clarify figuring out how to talk about what they do. So 90 minutes of coaching uh, various people. And I took a bunch of notes and you could see that all in the video. So YouTube, Tad Hargrave, George Cow, um, and you'll probably find that video. So um, yes. And uh, Heather is one of my co-working buddies and uh, I recommend Focusmate. Focusmate.com is a wonderful tool to help you have some accountability to doing the work. All right. Anyway, I'll, I'll stop the video for now. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you next time. All right. Take care.